good afternoon from air and water show practice. It might be loud, but Jamesy is asleep. Teddy actually was asleep at home, so he stayed there. And this is probably the fastest he's ever fallen asleep. So I'm gonna run into Jewel and get two last minute things for a dinner that I realized that I didn't have everything for after we just went grocery shopping. I'm gonna run in, maybe get some Friday Red Bulls. Teddy is stirring, but man, these planes are so loud. It's both awesome and not great for nap time. Literally a car alarm went off outside. I didn't even think I said, we're so glad you're here, we daily vlog. So we like this video. Come back tomorrow. Do you even vlog? Look at our bebe. You're calm, please. I'm calm. Only it's not a dream. Ooh, again, Brookhart's always have Christmas food running through their veins. Right, Jamesy? It is Christmas in Wow! What are you doing over here? You playing? Okay, doesn't his face... What? Doesn't his face look more mature today? Is your hair just growing in? A little bit of everything? What would you like to play? You want to throw the ball around? Go, 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 go. It is four o'clock and I'm already starting dinner because we're hungry. Um, but not that this takes a crazy long amount of time, this dinner. It's just a lot of chopping and so time, time goes by. So we'll probably be eating around early for us. We're kind of late eaters. But anywho, we are making skillets tonight. Um, it's gonna be potatoes, peppers, the soy chorizo that I love so much from Trader Joe's, egg, cheese. I got a fresh jalapeno from my sister's garden, so maybe some jalapeno. We have talked about going solely plant-based again in our home, um, just with us like getting back into like this fitness regimen and just knowing that we personally feel our best when we're plant-based. And so that doesn't mean we're ruling out other types of food when we're out and about, but we're gonna start at home. You guys know we go in waves of liking to do this. Um, but yeah, this is the start, so we're gonna use up all of our animal products um, in the upcoming days. So I heated up some butter and some oil together and the potatoes go first because they take the longest to cook. I don't know if there's anything better than a fried potato. Hold on, let me, oh, there we go. Um, so I spunked it up, there is some minced garlic and I also use like the juice from the minced garlic jar, put that all around it, salt, and then this is something that I took from my mom's house last year, the steak and meat seasoning. It's just, you can see the ingredients in there. There is, interesting, there is MSG in there. Um, but if you if you wanted to make it yourself, it tastes so yummy and I, and I love this mixture. So instead of doing it myself, I've just added this. So let's get the potatoes cooking and I'm gonna start chopping up peppers and onions. It's Friday. He's never played with these games before. He also doesn't know how to play these games. But we're just gonna play with the Yahtzee dice and the Jenga box. So we have a busy weekend still. We're about to play, we're, okay, okay, I'll get him, I'll get the box. Oh, you get the box. Um, Sarah's so cooking. We're gonna get Christmas decorations out because I have friends, that we have friends, which is my friends. We have friends that are going to the not so scary Halloween party right now, I wish we were there. I wish we were there every day. Um, we're gonna decorate for Christmas tomorrow but we're also going to clean this place full on spring cleaning style, even though it's fall. We're gonna throw away a bunch of stuff. We're gonna donate a bunch of stuff. This place is gonna be clutter free, also Christmas-fied, which means we need candles. No, we're gonna we'll play with Jenga blocks now. Oh.
So I have onions and a green pepper and a yellow pepper chopped up. I wanna see, I think this will be good, but I might throw another pepper in there. Um, I chopped them thick to kind of match the cubed size of the potatoes. Just a nice and hearty skillet right now. I have this on high to get these potatoes crispy. I did another layer of the seasoning. I want these potatoes to be like super seasoned. Um, and try and get crispy and like their own delicious taste before we throw in the veggies. So these are like halfway cooked, but then they'll, they'll continue to cook as the veggies do. I also decided that I'm gonna put in a tomato, but that takes far less time to cook. So I'm gonna let this cook up first and then add that in. Um, on the veggies, I added a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. So I'm gonna cook that until the onions are translucent, and then I'm gonna start heating up the soy chorizo. I haven't decided if I want that just like on top or if I'm gonna like mix it throughout. Yummy, that's already looking so good. Just poured some egg whites in there to mix that in. Give it a little extra protein. Alrighty, Jamesy's plate is all situated. Excuse, this This causes a, a messy stove top. I mixed in most of the chorizo and put cheddar cheese on top, so I'm just gonna melt it and then dish it up. And here's the final product. Pretty tasty. James is a fan of this soy chorizo, just like me. Oh goodness. James is getting a little avocado action added to his. Mmm. What do you think? It's delicious. I'm glad you like it. You know it's Friday when he's got the fan out blowing himself with water. Okay, I said a little bit ago that like we're spring cleaning, decorating for Halloween tomorrow. But like, there's some drastic things that we want to do. Like, pretty much throw away or, and or donate everything in our bathroom closet because we realized that we've it's basically been absolutely full since we moved in and we've barely used the things that are in there. So clearly that means, it's like remember when the Brookharts did like the whole purge thing and we like got rid of it so much, like basically, I say this like, we moved down to Florida in 2017 with a 25 foot truck and if we would have done the purge before we moved to Florida to the same extent that we did when we were in Florida two and a half years ago when we did that purge, we probably would have only needed a 15 foot truck. And so like Sarah and I, when we get our mindset, I'm like, yeah, we need to purge like stuff. And we have stuff with having the kids. And just like life changing and evolving over time that like I do think we can get rid of most of that bathroom closet. And we have a lot of stuff that like we haven't I'm had. Running from, that's from our bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we can do purge of clothes. We can do purge of bathroom stuff. Um, Maybe even some of the kids' toys we can maybe purge. I kind of like just want to get started now because we are trying to do the air and water show tomorrow, but I also want to decorate for Halloween. The closet, I know I didn't put away in the most like Peter Tetrisy way, so I kind of want to get the Halloween stuff out of the closet now so that if we want to like get up early even before the kids are awake tomorrow. So, yeah, I don't know. I think our Friday night's in. Maybe we'll go on a walk. In a little bit it's also like rain supposed to be coming in tonight and maybe it comes in early we shall see emergency trip to james's favorite store because we ran out of wipes how did we let this happen we always have wipes but we ran out of wipes and we need them so emergency jewel trip this is a necessity i am the hug machine oh do you need a hug i think you do Hug accomplished. All the babies are asleep, including this baby. I've given up on organizing, I think, for the night. Sarah fell asleep behind me. And I put on this movie, made it in Italy. Pretty good. One of those movies that like I could probably watch once a year. And I guess that's today. And the movie's over, so I think that's a good way to end a Friday night. Good to be home. Look at this little one joining me. Um, so, good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. 
we daily vlog so if you like this video come back tomorrow this is a two-parter so i think we kind of like fell off the face of the planet last night we really started organizing our biggest thing that we wanted to accomplish is like a full apartment declutter and it's just taking a lot of time and we might do some time lapses here and there um but the fun stuff is the Hall halloween decorating that is going to be coming up later today um for now our clutter is just our clutter and it feels so good so far so i'm happy about that um so yeah the boys are trying to do a nap but it's kind of rainy um and we found a 25 five dollar gift card so peter is picking us up some dumplings down the road so that's exciting oh and the peloton clips you saw this morning i've decided i'm gonna try and get on when teddy has his first wake up in the morning as long as it's like after like 4 a.m um and then like go back to sleep and that worked really well today um and then i'll be able to get peter up for him to run so that is making sense of those few clips at the front um and we finished the bathroom closet storage we finished our kitchen storage and now i'm going to tackle what storage we have in our bedroom once again forgetting that it's saturday morning not sunday for the french farmer's market we're walking to go get dumplings and it's raining and i think it's keeping james awake from falling asleep yeah i know you gotta lay back and rest still awake all right so we got momo factory just some dumplings and some sauces. The rain is quite definitely keeping this kid awake. That's okay. We'll go down for a nap eventually. So we got Momo Factory, which is on Broadway. And we got some crispy dumplings and then some steamed dumplings that go in this curry coconut sauce. And then there's a mild sauce for the dumplings and then this is like a mango pickle chutney for them and look at these surprise treats this is a boston cream oh my gosh this is like an almond bourbon or something i think that's what we got last time we need to find a new means of napping yeah. if weather's gonna get in our way you deserve this you gonna sit down and eat some yeah. Today has been a near non-existent vlogging day, but it's been the ultimate cleaning day that I don't think any of us either even realized. I cleaned out everything below here. I cleaned out behind there, which has been like our secret abyss. Sarah's doing an amazing job in her bedroom. I did a decent job in the kitchen. We're gonna sweep and steam up the whole place. And then uh, after all that's done, which it shouldn't be too, too, too much longer, after James wakes up, we will decorate for Halloween. Is talking with Daddy? Yeah. Is the declutter done? How's the bedroom? There's just like our drawers. Okay, then I think I just need to take out whatever bags of garbage and then declutter and stuff. Jamesy is still in. Oh, Jammies, where would you like to go? Where do you want to go? We're watching Coco. We got it. We got to get Teddy. We had to get some croutons <laughs> for a snack. So Jamesy's up from his nap. Teddy is awake and happy. Peter's just bringing some garbage out, and we're gonna decorate tonight. First, we are going to sweep, steam up, and surface clean. Um, just to like have it all, everything fresh before we are putting new things out. Um, so we do have to do that first. And I think I'm gonna make Greek bowls for dinner. What? Did you hear that? That is Teddy. Ooh, first an unboxing. Oh my goodness. It's some Halloween jammies. You like them? You are gonna have the same ones. I had to do two separate orders. It's a long story of my kerfuffle with walmart.com. But how stinking cute are these Halloween jammies for the boys? You probably still have plenty of time to order them. They're less than $10. So cute. You want more? Croutons, croutons are a great snack. Yeah, this is the perfect box to get to get us in the Halloween decorating spirit. Zombies 3, it's going on. 
Oh, James is pulling the train he hasn't seen in a long time. Because it's been hidden underneath there in the corner. Teddy's hanging out. Oh, Sarah's playing music. Interrupting, she's going to start cooking dinner. I just went through all my drawers to get like clothes to get thrown away and clothes to get donated. And I think I'm donating like three different years worth of Run Disney shirts. Many that I've never really worn. We're gonna do a little cook with me tonight. I am making some quinoa. I already have some rice made. I'm gonna mix the two together. I'm gonna make a chickpea veggie shawarma situation. I'm gonna start out with a roux. It's gonna be buttery. Um, I'm just winging this sauce. So I found a like a shawarma spice recipe online that I'm gonna roll with. Alrighty, I added some garlic in there. All the butter. <laughs> I was gonna say the butter is belted. The butter is melted. Oh, we're fucking up. Okay, sorry I had to stop real quick just to get that under control. Um, I did about four spoonfuls of flour in the butter over medium heat, and now I'm going to add some coconut milk um, to make our sauce, a nice buttery, creamy sauce. And then the spices. Okay, the quinoa is cooking up. I think I'm doing it, and I did half veggie broth with half water instead of just straight water for what I'm cooking it in. Um, I always add a little bit of oil to quinoa too. Um, and then I kind of eyeballed the amount of coconut milk, probably a full cup, not a cup and a half. Um, but then I'm just gonna keep stirring it, let it get all nice and creamy with uh, butter and flour. And then once it starts to bubble, I'm gonna let it bubble for a little bit and then put it back down to low. I'm gonna put in here the spices that I'm putting it in for like the shawarma blend. Ooh, it's all mixed in. So nice and creamy. Yum, all right, I'm gonna add my stuff. Okay, the veggies are in. Zucchini, a red pepper, and a whole can of chickpeas. So I'm just gonna let that bubble and cook up the veggies while I finish up the base as well as the topping. So this is the quinoa. I'm gonna mix that with the rice. I mixed up a little Caesar dressing. I will put the ingredients below, but I also added oregano to give it a little bit of a Greek flair. So I'm gonna to toss some romaine lettuce in that, chop up um, some cherry tomatoes. Here is Jamesy's plate. Look good. Are you a little uncertain? Go with what you know first. So some, some stuff on our kitchen table still needs to find homes after our big declutter. Um, but here are all the toppings. I wish I had pita bread, but we don't. But we have pita crackers, pickles, tomatoes, olives for pita, hummus, the cucumber salad from the other night. This is that vegan feta from Aldi. And then this spinach parmesan tzatziki. So it's really not a vegan meal, but we got the vegan feta to try. I like to keep the different things in their own sections and take bites of what I want. And I guarantee you Peter is going to just put it all in there and mix it all up. Yeah. <laughs> Two different kinds of people in the world. Also ones who like olives and ones who don't. Is he liking it? I forgot to show how I compiled the base of the bowl, but it's the lettuce with the dressing on it with the quinoa rice concoction on top. We came late to the game, but we really like these uh, magic quests with the cast from Zombies. Man, what I would give just to like go to Epcot tonight just for Harmonious. Why so funny? Why so funny? Oh my goodness. All right. Are you guys ready? I have to get the Halloween boxes out. And I know, I forget what was going on, but I did not plan it well. <laughs> oh, bother. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing Christmas. Seeing some Halloween, but I just have to make sure that's not like a fall slash Halloween or towel exclusive. 
right? No day but today, right? Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, 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 my teddy. <laughs> There's a creepy witch. No, a creepy witch. A creepy ghost or something in the haunted mansion. Jamesy, look. <laughs> also, here's all the bins. So it looks like a lot more than it actually is. There's really only these two main ones. Other ones are like Sorry. multi. Whoa. Other ones like multi seasons that got just mixed together. Like, who remembers Rupert? Halloween. Don't be fooled by the My First Thanksgiving. Halloween. Halloween. Back to school? What? I think we should bring Rupert out right now. Hello, Rupert. Rupert can, but not. Rupert can come out now? The, the squirrel? Yeah. yeah it's the squirrel. Who else is Rupert? We only, there's only one Four Rupert thousand. in our entire life. Yeah. He preceded all of our children. Rupert's out. Some pumpkins and cauldrons are out. Pumpkin blankets. We got a cauldron candle going over there. Haunted Mansion plates of the skim of the blueprints of the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. That's from our honeymoon. We got all kinds of trinkets, all kinds of great things to go out. Picture frames, DVDs, a VHS recording from TV of Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, Son of Frankenstein, in Sarah's dad's handwriting. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Then yes, we did have to put on Nightmare Before Christmas because of this occurring. James is mesmerized. No, don't have a kid, I haven't seen this like two and a half weeks ago. Because everyone knows this is where our heart truly is. In Christmas Town. Yeah, do you see? Oh my gosh. Do you love them? That was the second reaction. I didn't have the camera ready. That, but that was just as good as the first one. He's picking his nose now because he's a little kid. Um, they look so good. I feel like a part of my soul is reviving with every decoration going out. You miss James's reaction. To what? Ooh. <laughs> You look at the shadows. Did we have it there last year? Why did I not recall that? Also, look above your left shoulder. Oh, probably not where he's staying, but it's worth hanging out for the moment. Both of the kids are finally asleep. And not a single, oh, well, I guess a single fall Halloween decoration is out. And there's chaos. The problem now is we're supposed to go to the Air Marsh tomorrow. We're having um, people over for dinner tomorrow. It's late already. I mean, it's, I didn't need to edit a vlog. It's late, like after 11 p.m. late. Yeah. And we want to decorate. <laughs> and we also. We have like four more hours in the day. We also want to just sit on the couch because we've been working all day. And yeah, we worked last night. So like, I just want to snuggle on the couch with a movie on. I told you that like, what we got done, I wish that I had like, just an extra twenty five minutes to film the whole world was in the whole world got paused. Yeah. Like, we could just like sit and like get all that done with like the hair time. Yeah, I'm not there. So what? But we just took a whole day to do it. With two little babies. Yeah. Let's just sign off and we'll leave you on a cliffhanger. Good to be home. And you'll, um, you'll know next vlog what we did. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.